know, so we're at the access to the Lauder Basin, um, the Linda's Pass side. So we're going to go right over today, and um, if it's good weather up there, we'll camp and uh, go hunting. Pretty standard drive up on the main road along the private track, uh, public road, but it's on their station. You can get up there. I'd say you can get up there in any standard full drive. Wouldn't matter if any road tires. So we're going to shoot up this track here. And this is your walking track. So we'll drive up. And we probably can't get down to the hut because of the rain. And it's only got two beds in it anyway. So we're probably going to drive right along to, and camp right up top. Yeah, note to self guys, this place is padlocked and you need to go to the Department of Conservation and get um, padlock codes. So unlike the rest of the country, it's not raining here, it's just blowing a gale. So I'm doing a bit of truck glassing at the stage in this first gully or junction. Just have a look, see what's about down there, then I might pop over the knob and have a better look straight down but this fog's pretty in and out so it's not too bad so I was just driving up the track here I've seen, seen a pig standing over there so I turned the truck off, he looked at me started just quite casually walking towards the track so I got out my rifle, still on the track and uh, he walked onto the track and I poleaxed him so that's probably uh, shot him from down there standing up just a shoulder shot straight through the old guts, dropping like a sack of potatoes. Didn't even get a finish as worm, so quickly whip this, this young fella up and uh, <coughs> carry on. So we'll quickly set up camp in a good spot that we can uh, glass. Found that on the road. Just uh, cooking up some, cooking up a big feed. I'm fair hungry, haven't really eaten much today at all. So, still got heaps of food, stacks of it, absolute stacks of it. Right, so I'm just going to pick up camp now. Um, yeah, get ready for a hunt. I was hoping the sun would come out and dry it all out before I left, but it's not going to, so I'm just going to carry on, get it all packed up, and uh, dry it out later on. Right, eighteen. We're on the walk here. Um, I'd say we'll be getting goats, goats today. Thanks for just sending out. That'd be the only thing I think we'll be out and about walking. So we'll just see what we can find now. There are a lot of sheep in here. And there's not supposed to be sheep in here, so it's. It's really annoying. I'm waiting for this fold to clear so I can have a look at this other side. There won't be anything on this side because it's covered in sheep. Everywhere. You can see two there. There's about 10 there. Past about 20. Up there, on the way down. So the fog's clearing now. Hopefully I'll get a glass on this other face. To see if there's any goats up there. Or enemy, no sign of anything but sheep. And they're not wild sheep, so you can't shoot them. But the fog is disappearing, so I've glassed most of this face in the last 40 minutes. It's getting quite hot now, so the fog's just about gone. Um, but if there's nothing down here, might drive back up over the top, come up over the top and then 
Have a look down the other couple of faces that were covered in fog last night. But yeah, that fog, they should be gone half an hour. So on that ridge there, the whole way down these goats just scattered on the top. But that's over there. So what I'll do is we'll, we'll go back up to the truck, drive around and come down on them. It should be easier, they're all the way down to the top. It's pretty much goats from there to there, just scattered. Along the top, getting the sun, so we'll see if we can go up and polex one or two. So we're coming down the other ridge now. Coming down the other ridge now. Um, where I sat this morning, those rocks down there, I walked from up the top there. So we've just driven along the top and walked down here. So hopefully the goats are just still down there. It's been about an hour. Right, so the little beggars have given me the slip. As I was driving around, they've walked down and started walking up the other side, like they're not spooked. So I don't think they've seen or heard me, but they just walked down and started going up the other side. So they're all on the other side at the moment. Um, there's also a couple of goats down in there. It's like three or four. But yeah, don't know. You can see them down there. This goat's there and this goat's there. They're all just quietly walked down. There's still one or two on this side at the creek. They're still coming from this side. <sighs> yeah. So uh, the hot fog hasn't moved at all, pretty much, from where I camped this morning. We're almost to where I camped this morning, last night, rather. And uh, yeah, no, the fog, fog isn't even lifted from there. So it should be foggy the whole way down, I'd say.